Hey guys, EBP Man here. Do you have an iPhone XS Max? Would you like to have an extended battery case to, you know, extend your usage? What if I told you that we're going to take a look at a case today that not only will extend your battery life, but supports wireless charging? Have your attention now? Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, extending the battery life of your iPhone XS Max is, for many of us, critical. Uh, but one of the things that I really uh, found interesting about this product that we're going to review is that the battery backup solution that extends the battery life of your phone also supports wireless charging. And let's face it, you have an iPhone that supports wireless charging, you may have a wireless charging pad in your car, you have one in your home, and you want to have an extended battery, but they don't work. So this product right here that we're going to take a look at supports wireless charging and it extends your battery. So let's do the unboxing and we'll go ahead and check it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now this product is brought to us by Aptronics. Uh, it is a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, extended battery solution for your iPhone XS Max, and it uses a micro USB charging cable to charge. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, see how it's gonna work with your iPhone, and then we're also gonna do a wireless charging test so you can see how it wirelessly charges. So now taking a closer look at the case, as you can see here, uh, your iPhone is gonna fit here real nicely, and here you have your Apple connector that's gonna support sliding your iPhone. Now the iPhone, you remove this uh, piece right here, the top, will allow it to slide in and not damage your, uh, your charging port. Now in addition to that, you'll notice that the case itself is a matte black case. It's a satin finish, really nice to the touch. Um, I'd be cautious with it because, because it's nice and soft, you may find it a little bit slippery. It does have a button right here, and this power button, which I'll press, is going to indicate your charging level using these four bars. If you press and hold this power button, it is going to then supply power to your iPhone. In the meantime, if you just have it connected, it's not gonna be juicing up your iPhone until you press that button, which is great because you can determine when you wanna top off your iPhone or when you're just using it for you know wireless charging and charging the battery itself. Now inside, we're gonna see that there's the wireless charging symbol, you can see that right there, indicating that this will support wireless charging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our iPhone inside of this case and we're gonna do a wireless charging test. Now one other thing I wanted to highlight is at the very bottom you'll notice that there's these two grills here. These two grills that you see here are indicating that the sound of your iPhone, which typically is gonna come from the bottom and the top, the ones that are in the bottom are gonna be channeled forward. So you're not gonna be uh, muffled. Uh, it's, this is not gonna impact also the call quality. Uh, it's just a nice little design that we see when it comes to battery cases like this. Now that we have our iPhone in the case, a couple things I just wanted to highlight. Now, the actual screen protection is pretty light on this case. So this case is more about extending your battery life than actually pro providing some awesome protection to your phone. Now, the one thing I will also mention is that I am using a Whitestone dome glass screen protector on this phone, and the case is compatible with it. So I'm gonna put it in an angle right here so you can see that. It is compatible with it. It has a very, very small, I would say, lip going all the way around it. Not significant enough for me to say that this is gonna give you awesome screen protection. Uh, so I would advise that you have a tempered glass screen protector on top of your, your phone's screen, just in case. Uh, outside of that, everything aligns really nicely. So we'll just put it right here so you can see that. So everything aligns really nicely. Uh, the back has some great, great, great uh, protection. You'll notice that the camera lens right here area uh, really goes down pretty far down. So when you place it on a surface, you don't have to worry about anything there. Uh, the We have this little sticker, which I'm going to remove. So we'll go ahead and remove that out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Okay, toss that to the side. Uh, you have your little power button right here that when you press it is going to power up the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that button and see if our phone turns on. So we'll just press it. Notice how it turned on, indicating that it's charging. So we're going ahead and I'm gonna press and hold that just to make sure that I see that little charging light. You'll notice that it went green, indicating that it in fact is charging. And in the back, you'll notice that the LEDs are also on. So this is right now juicing up my phone, extending the battery life of it. And you know, again, the functionality of your phone, your volume rocker, uh, the uh, fact that you want the mute function is still accessible here. Now the one thing I will highlight, this is kind of, 
a little bit hard for me. I don't really have long nails, but I can still reach it. You'll notice that the uh, mute function right there is kind of a little deeper. So it's not something that is out really that much. So um, it's protected, but at the same time, you kind of have to dig in if that's something that you use. The volume buttons that you see right here, and we'll put this in an angle like this, are pretty responsive, so no problems with that. So everything right there is, is fine. I'm just a little concerned of the mute function. That's a little hard to get to. Uh, everything else is responsive and clicky. So as soon as I press the buttons, everything uh, works fine. The up, down, you know, my volume rocker is fine. Uh, tapping on the screen, uh, also everything seems to be working without a problem. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, this charger. So this is a Pixel charger, but as we know, the iPhone uh, XS Max is compatible with any Qi charging device. So here we have uh, this charger. We're going to take, I'm gonna go ahead and power it down so that we have an, uh, the phone is off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it right here on the charger. So what we're looking for is for it to, to start up, which it did, and you'll notice that it says that it's wireless charging. Again, wireless is charging, and I still have this battery case that I can use to extend the battery life of my phone. So guys, that concludes our review of the Eptronics battery case for the iPhone XS Max. Remember, 3,500 milliamp hours with the ability to wirelessly charge your iPhone. It's definitely a buy in my book. See you in the next one. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.